Increasing the amount of potassium research has shown can lower your blood pressure. If you can just consume about five grams of potassium per day, you will lower your blood pressure by five millimeters of mercury. Now, sodium and potassium, I have kind of this love-hate relationship. When people eat an excessive amount of salt or sodium chloride, and they usually are eating highly processed foods, which have a low amount of potassium. And so in the kidney, this becomes a problem and can affect your kidney, which thus, that's how it affects your blood pressure. So by reducing the amount of salt and increasing the amount of potassium, you can have a one-two punch. So if you increase the potassium and lower the amount of salt, you can improve your blood pressure by 10 millimeters of mercury. But if you keep the salt steady and just increase your potassium, you'll only decrease it by five. Now, how does one start to consume more potassium? There's numerous ways. Just to give you an example, there's the DASH diet, there's the Mediterranean diet, and there's the zone diet. These diets tend to be very salt restrictive because they don't emphasize processed foods and the foods that they do allow you to eat, which are vegetables and fruits, tend to have a lot of potassium in them. In addition to that, and I'll put links down below in the description if you wanna look at these, there are salt substitutes. So instead of using the salt shaker with sodium chloride, you could use potassium chloride. Now there is a different taste to potassium chloride and very often people don't adapt to it, but if you can adapt to it, that would be even better. Now because of the taste issue, if you cannot stomach the potassium chloride as a salt substitute, you can always get a mix. Now at the end of the video, if you hang tight, right here at the end of the video, I'll have a uh, video where you click the box and I did a number of salt substitutes to tell you which ones worked better and which, how they tasted and everything. So hang tight for that at the end. But nonetheless, you can experiment and get a half sodium chloride, potassium chloride. They sell these. So when you're, when you're salting your food, you can't tell the difference between table salt, sodium chloride, and potassium chloride, sodium chloride mix. So it's a wonderful substitute and it's a great way to get more potassium in your diet.